Hello, I'm Trey and welcome back to another colouring tutorial. With this one, I'm going to attempt to colour in a fairy design from a colouring heaven magazine. Um, this one's the Fairies and Friends Special Edition. Uh, the artwork is by Meredith Dillman. It's beautiful artwork, very delicate, um, a nice one for me to practice skin tones for people. Also uh, doing delicate wings and that kind of thing. I have attempted one or two pieces in here, I think, so far. Not many. Um, let's have a look. Find them. And the artwork is beautiful. And that's one I've done. And... And still need quite a bit of practice with the skin, but I'm happy with it so far. Um, and of course, I love doing wings, and fairy uh, designs. They're so delicate. I am working on a different one at the moment because every design I do, I am trying to learn something or practice something. With this one, it's folds of dresses, uh, and it's kind of nice with this design because you get some lines in there to help. So I'm practicing doing my dresses with that design. But for this tutorial, I will be using um, a design called Gathering Poppies. Not too complicated, not too fussy. Again, this dress here to practice fold, folds, hair practice, and also skin and that lovely, those lovely flowers, those lovely poppies. I'm going to also try and work on a limited palette and I'll show you how I do that with a limited palette and a colour wheel. I sometimes use a colour wheel to choose my colours. Uh, this I printed off from the internet and it has um, ways of choosing colour. That both contrast and complement each other. If I'm using a limited palette, I try not to have more than, well, less than four colours. So I tend to use this one or this one. Decided to use the square one today. There is a poppy in the design. So one of the colours I'm going to be using is red. So on the wheel, it already has red picked. And the other, other colours that go with red would be yellow, green and blue. I'm using my Marco Refine pencil set for this project. I do have some others which I'll try and use again, uh, in future tutorials. I feel the most comfortable with these pencils. I've chosen yellow blue, green and red pencils as was on the colour wheel I was looking at earlier to choose my colours. The only difference with this is I've decided to include skin tones for the skin. could have gone with any of these other colours because it's a fancy design. I thought just to show, try and have a go at showing how I do skin tones, I would choose skin tones. The only extra colours I will use in this project are darker colours for shading. So, I'll, for instance, I'll probably use a purple with my reds and a brown with the greens or a blue. Just depends on what works best. When I've chosen my colours, um, to help myself remember, I tend to write them down. Um, these pencils have a, a chord a number on them, so I write do down those numbers. When I come back to the project, you know, quite often I do, it takes more than a few days to do a project. I know which colours I'm going to be using. That way I don't forget and pick up the wrong shades. I'm going to attempt to do the skin first. Um, I'm not 
brilliant at skin so this again i'm just going to show you how i try to do skin uh, i'll start with the face first and i will start with my lightest color i'm just going to put a light layer all over the face I will now do the neck and the chest in the same colour, light pressure. And I will do the same for the arms and the legs. Now I will come along and do a darker layer. Now I'm using brown, uh, light brown for my shading for this skin tone because I don't have a lot of skin tones in this set of pencils. Um, and I'm going to be going along the edges again with the brown shade. Light let pressure so that you don't go too dark. Inside the ear, a little bit darker.
And now do the same with the neck and the chest. Going in to the shadowed areas and going slightly darker. Now I will start doing the arms. Now go back to the legs and work in the slightly darker shading. I've now added more layers of the lighter colours and a slightly darker brown for the skin. I'm now going to highlight parts that I think would be slightly darker using a darker brown. Generally around the airline, a little bit around the jewellery that's on a around head. I'm not pressing on hard with this darker brown, it's just to add a little bit more depth. I went for the brown tones rather than the pink tones for this project because I felt it was working better with the colour palette. I'm 
have the nose there. Do you a little bit? I'm just darkening slightly where I think the darker shadow will be. Now at this point I would normally do a blend layer but I'm not going to use a white pencil on my blending pencil I'm going to use the lightest pencil for the skin and it will soften up all the darker brown areas. And that's that for the skin. Um, she's got a nice tanned look. I can imagine she would be tanned. She'd be outside all the time being a fairy. Uh, quite happy with that. I mean, personal choice. If you want to do more layers, that's up to you. I just do a few. Um, and I leave it, you know, as that and do my final blend. So this is the end of part one for this tutorial. Uh, when I come back, for part two, I'm going to go into do the eyes, the lips, the nails, and then have a goal of doing the hair. <laughs>